In this video, SN76489 is programmed to play ringtone text transfer language codes. Ringtone Text Transfer Language, RTTTL, was developed by Nokia to create ringtones that can be uploaded to mobile phones. The RTTL code is a string divided into three parts, name, default value, and data. The name part of the code has the name of the ringtone, and the data has all the musical notes required to create the ringtone. The default value has the default values of the musical notes in terms of duration, octave, and beats. Each musical note is characterized by the following duration, pitch, octave, and dotted duration. Duration indicates whether we have a full note, a half note, a quarter note, and so on. Pitch indicates how high we play the note. Octave is the distance from one note to the other of the same letter. Dotted duration, if this is available, then it, this means that the duration is duration plus half duration. The values between square brackets are optional, but the pitch must always be mentioned. If the duration or the octave are not indicated with the pitch, then we use the default values. For example, let's have a look at the first note here. We read the first note as the duration is not mentioned so we take the default 4. So duration is 4, the pitch is C, and the octave is 5. The second note here, the duration is mentioned 8, the pitch is G, octave is not mentioned so we take the default which is 4. Let's have a look at this note here. The duration is not mentioned, so we take the default 4. The pitch is A, and the octave is not mentioned, so we take the default, which is 4, and so on. The P here is not a note, but a pause, or in other words, no sound, which are inserted between notes or at the end. The next example will give more clarification to RTTTL codes. This example demonstrates how we can decode an RTTTL code so that it can be played on the SN76489 IC. This column demonstrates the decoding process. The first column is for the notes and each note is uh, characterized by distance, pitch and uh, octave. The second column gives you the tone associated with each note and we can obtain the tone from the note value by using online converters. This column represents the 10-bit frequency value needed to represent the tone. And we can uh, calculate this value by taking the clock frequency 4 MHz, dividing it by 32 and then dividing it by the tone frequency to give us this 10-bit value. And this column represents the two bytes needed to play that uh, uh, note or tone using the SN76489 and the last column represents the duration of that uh, note or tone and in the next slide we will see how we can represent the duration using the SN76489 chip. Note duration can easily be implemented by using the 16 attenuation levels of the SN76489 chip. So, for example, to achieve duration 4, we can assign all of the 16 attenuation levels. For duration 8, we can assign 8 levels. Duration 16, 4 levels. Duration 32, 2 levels. The C++ code uh, needed to implement duration is shown here. For example, for duration 4, we need a for loop that will loop 16 times to cover the 16 attenuation levels. If we want to implement duration 8, then we will loop 8 times and so on. A quick look at the C++ sketch. Within the loop function, we want to play all of the notes on channel 0. So here we play the first note for a duration of 4, and then we play the second note for a duration of 8, and so on. And we continue playing until we reach the last note 
with a duration of 4 and then a pause of 4. The next uh, ringtone we want to play is the Axel Foley theme from Beverly Hills Cop. This is the RTTTP code here. And this is the table needed to decode the code and obtain the tones and the uh, 10 bit frequency value and the two bytes and the distance needed to represent the ringtone. <laughs> 